Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Nick and in this video we're going to be going over all the modifications and upgrades that I've done in this trailer that I own here, my Wolf Pup 16 TS. This is probably the number one thing I get asked all the time is to have a video of all the modifications I've made. So here it is. Come with me as I walk you around the trailer. We'll start with the outside and make our way inside and I'll show you all the things that I've done. Okay, let's start at the front of the trailer here. Now, just to mention some of the things I'm gonna show you in this video, you've seen before in other videos if you watch them, but we'll go over them again and I'll talk about them. So first thing and foremost, we have the uh, Lippert uh, tongue jack that I installed uh, for the trailer. Initially it had a uh, manual jack, but um, I decided to put this electric one in. I think it pushes about 3,500 pounds max, which is totally fine for this trailer. And then I put in a dual propane setup. Uh, here with the cover as well. If we take that off, you can see that we have two 20 pound tanks with a dual um, uh, regulator as well. And it's also an auto switchover valve. So when one tank goes empty, it switches automatically over to another tank. And then those are secured down with a lock, which I just drilled a hole through the bracket here to keep it to the frame and uh, keep it out of other people's hands. Uh, moving on to the side of the trailer, nothing really too much on this side other than the shower area. Now I knew that I would never use this outdoor shower for what it's intended for. So I put in a, um, like a garden hose adapter basically, so I can plug a, a hose up to it and use this more like a utility type of uh, water uh, connection, which has been super helpful for washing the trailer here at the storage unit. So the pressure is not great going through a hose through that, but you know, water comes through and it gets the job done. Uh, moving along the back of the trailer here, we have uh, the bumper where I put in these magnetic uh, bumper caps, which are attached to the sewer hose, um, which is uh, really great and allows me to pull the hose out nice and easy. And again, it's just a couple of a few magnets on the corners, just like that. Uh, all of the lights on the outside of the trailer, all the marker lights and the front lights and the tail lights and all that are all LED now. Um, they were like the, the standard halogen incandescents before, and now they're LED. At the top, we have um, a Furion backup camera that I just put in recently. Uh, and it has also a built-in marker light. So what I loved about that was it, it, it looked clean and I didn't have to make any new holes and uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it comes with a little five inch like monitor that I keep in the truck there. Now, if you saw one of my original videos, you probably noticed something's missing or different back here. And that is because my trailer initially came with a cargo rack that lived on the bumper that would fold down. That again, one of those things that I knew that I, I wasn't really ever gonna use that, it was extra weight, so I decided to get rid of it and sell it, and instead I just uh, bought a bracket or a, a holder for the spare tire. So uh, now it's just a bumper and the spare tire, which has been really great. Moving on to this side, um, a few more things on this side. We have, uh, again, I mentioned, that's the other cap that I put in for the sewer hose. Um, the awning initially had an RG or had a blue LED strip inside of it, um, and right there. And I replaced that with another LED strip, but it's RGB, so I can change the colors. I did replace the stock tires that came with the trailer with Goodyear Endurance, um, which gives me a better peace of mind and also allows for a nice ride. Uh, speaking of nice ride, the other thing I did is I put in uh, some suspension things across the way there. You might be able to see a little spring in between the axle and the frame, and there's one right here as well. Uh, those are sumo springs, and those basically help the leaf springs. Um, they're basically a spring that sits in between the axle and the frame, and it absorbs a lot of the side-by-side -side motion as well as the up and down force of the trailer, so that um, helps prolong the life of the springs and also allows for a nicer ride of the trailer. Uh, in my other videos in here, I initially had a mini fridge and now I took that out and made it storage for utility purposes. I might put a shelf in here um, to be able to put more things but yeah so that gave me a lot of cargo space so the front is basically just the bins for the water hoses and whatnot. Um, yeah and moving forward a little bit more I took uh, I installed some LEDs underneath the trailer and they go right there, a little LED strip that runs all the way down both sides. They're wired directly into the 12 volt line of the trailer. So I have a master switch here, um, mainly so I know, cause I know that I'm gonna forget to turn these off from the little remote. And so this allows me to make sure that I kill power to them all together. 
And the last thing I'll mention on the trailer is on the roof, we've got four 100 watt solar panels that are part of my overall electrical system upgrade, which you can see in the annotation above or in the uh, comment, or excuse me, in the description down below. Check out that video where I talk about the electrical upgrade and then subsequently the solar system upgrade that I put in as well. Okay, I think it's time now to head inside to see what we've done in there. All right, heading inside the trailer, let's talk about all the modifications that I've made inside of my uh, Wolf Pup 16TS trailer over the time that I've had the trailer. The first thing I want to mention are the window shades. So when I bought the trailer, it came with the standard pleated blinds with the strings that then attached to the wall. As you can see the hole there and over there. I replaced them with some vinyl roller blackout shades. Um, and these have been amazing, to tell you the truth. They were pretty inexpensive. I was able to replace all the windows, uh, except for the, the regular blinds in the trailer for about, I would say 200 and some change, which is a, I think a pretty good price. It keeps the sun out of the trailer and it keeps the trailer relatively cool as much as it can uh, while it's here in storage. So that was a really big upgrade that I'm happy I did. Um, let's see what else. I put in these little shelves next to the bed because when I took out the headboard that came with the trailer and put a regular size queen in here, I had nowhere to put like my phone and my watch and all that stuff. So I got this little three pack of shelves on Amazon and just screw them to the wall. Um, and they, they remove easily as well. So it's just a couple screws there and then you just pop them uh, back on to the wall if you need to. Um, I put some grip stuff on there. So if I have things on there, they don't slide around. I put in a Verizon MiFi hotspot, so I have some Wi-Fi inside of the trailer, which is uh, really mainly helpful for the fire sticks that I have on my TVs. I have a 24 inch and a 32 inch over there, and they have some Amazon fire sticks installed. Um, moving on to the kitchen area, uh, let's start from the bottom here. So in these cabinets, I just keep some like uh, utensils and things like that. But on this side, I put in a, uh, a drawer or a little rack that pulls out that for now I have my utensils where you can put anything in here obviously, but that was uh, super helpful to put that in. The kitchen sink itself, I put in this retractable sink uh, faucet because the one it came with was just rigid and it just got water everywhere. In the cabinet above the sink, initially when I got the trailer, this panel here was kind of diagonal across the way and, it, and the panel's there to hide all the wires from your stereo and your voltmeter and your control panel and all that. So what I did is I cleaned up those wires back there and I cut the panel down so that I could push it back a little bit more, which gave me more room for some of these pots and pans and plates and bowls mm -hmm. and whatnot. In the bathroom, some of the things I have upgraded in here, I've featured in other videos, but I'll talk about them again. The first thing is the uh, Max Air Fan. This is the deluxe, which is basically the basic version. Uh, just got an on and off um, button there for and you can change your fan speeds and it's got the manual open and close um, handle there. And then in the shower, I put in a oxygenic shower head, which seems to be a requirement for everybody who owns RVs. Everyone seems to put those in. And it really is great. I mean, it feels like the pressure is, is greater and it does save a lot of water. I can attest to that. And the last thing I did in the bathroom was I put in this Dometic 310 toilet. Um, what's nice about this toilet is it's a, a porcelain bowl and it's got the water jets that go around the whole bowl and it's a soft close as well, the solid wood seats. It replaced the Thetford plastic toilet that came with the trailer. So this is a, 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 an upgrade that I'm really happy with. And the last thing I'll mention towards the front of the trailer here that I did is the digital thermostat, which replaced the uh, analog thermostat that came with the trailer. And this obviously is pretty simple. It just runs the furnace only and it just tells me the temperature and you can set it just like your household thermostat. So that's been um, pretty nice to have. Moving on towards the back of the trailer, there's a little um, less upgrades going on back here, but one of the big things I did is I put in the shelf unit. This used to be just a blank empty space. I got this like $20 or so shelf from Walmart. Just had to notch out the left bottom left corner there for the wheel well. And that gave me a lot more storage space, which is nice. When I installed this TV back here, um, it, there was nothing to install it for. The trailer didn't come with the TV. So what I did is I put in this fully articulating mount. I screwed it into um, you know, one of the main uh, wood framing pieces there and then just uh, ran some wires. Uh, when I installed this, this also did not have any sort of power outlet or coax or anything like that. So what I did is I tapped off the power from the microwave to create this outlet 
and then I ran this coax cable all the way back through here um, into this panel here, which is where there's a splitter. That splitter then goes off to the main uh, guy right there. So um, that allowed me to have a nice clean cable run and you know not have to have all sorts of cables all over the place. Um, I also replaced the USB outlet that was already in the wall here. That existed already, but um, it, it didn't charge very fast and it seemed like it was kind of off and on when I plugged stuff in. So I just bought this one off of Amazon. It lights up and it charges super fast and it's super reliable. And then other than just some normal housekeeping items like you know hanging up uh, mops and brooms and a trash can, um, that's pretty much it for this side of the trailer. All my cleaning supplies I keep up there. And then this side is pretty much just, uh, you know, um, food is, and bigger uh, plates and bowls and stuff go up there. All right, so that pretty much wraps up all of the interior uh, upgrades and modifications I've made to my trailer. I'm going to wrap this video up now because it is hot at the storage location. Uh, but before I go, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, just go ahead and hit that button. Let's you know when I post videos, hit that little notification bell while you're there too. It's fun. Try it out. If there's anything in the video that you saw that uh, was a good idea or something that you might want to do yourself or maybe even build upon yourself, um, hit the like button so I know. And then also let me know what you found interesting down in the comments below. And the last thing I'll leave you with is something I'm super excited about, which is I'm going to be taking myself, my best friend, and this trailer out to EAA AirVenture Oshkosh in Wisconsin in just a few days. I cannot tell you the level of excitement that I have for this, this show, um, especially because we've lost a year from being able to see it before because of COVID. I've been there a couple times before. I flew in um, in an airplane myself uh, one year and then I came back another year and then now I'm going to be heading back in my trailer camping at Camp Shoulder for the first time. So if you have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know. That'll be greatly appreciated. With that, I think that's it. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next video.